The Metropolitan Manila Development Authority filed criminal charges against a tobacco firm executive and his brother for allegedly beating up a traffic enforcer in Quezon City on Saturday. George Cahiles has that story. Every day, MMD traffic officers face their hazardous job on the street. Like on Saturday, a concerned citizen caught on camera a traffic constable being mauled by two motorists at Capitol Hill's corner Tendang Sora in Quezon City. This prompted the MMDA Legal Service to file direct assault charges against Robert Blair Carabuena, recruitment officer of a multinational tobacco company, and his brother Benjamin for allegedly mauling traffic constable Saturnino Fabros. Fabros says he was manning the traffic in the area when the incident happened. Kaya ko po nilapitan dahil sabihan ko siya na bakit sir uh, dumiritso kayo, inistop ko na nga kayo, dumiritso pa kayo. Bumaba po sa sasakyan niya. Yun. Matars po ako ng kunti, yun, yung pinagpapalo na ako, pinagano niya ako ng naga niya sombrero ko. Fabro says he tried to remain cool while facing Carabuena but he also feared for his life. Fabros broke down as he watched the video and recalled the incident. He says he was never insulted that way in his 27 years of service as traffic enforcer. Fabro says he is willing to forgive the Carabuena brothers, but he is determined to pursue the case against them. MMDA Traffic Discipline Enforcement Chief Attorney Eves Gonzalez says this is not the first time that this happened to traffic enforcers. He says almost every month, they file direct assault charges against abusive motorists who do not respect persons in authority. Gonzalez says this case has show how dedicated traffic enforcers are in performing their duties. At uh, nakita naman natin na si Fabros, uh, he exhibited all the right behaviors na hindi siya lumaban, he just kept his cool, hindi siya, hindi man lang siya naglabas ng masamang salita habang pinapalo na siya, di ba? So talagang kinontrol niya yung sarili niya and that's what we expect and, uh, from, from all our enforcers. Aside from the case, Gonzalez says the MMDA is already working on the revocation of Carabuena's license. Uh, chairman is writing uh, ASIC uh, Virginia Torres na ma-recommend nga natin na ma-revoke na yung license ni Carabuena dahil uh, para hindi na maulit to at least uh, we can set a good we can set an example na hindi pwede po na minamaltrato nila ang ating mga public servants kasi uh, mataas or mababa kailangan po respetuhin po natin yan. The MMDA is also proposing to give traffic enforcers baton so constables can protect themselves during emergency situations. For now, Fabros will be relieved from his post and will be temporarily assigned at the MMDA central office for his safety. Gonzalez also recommended to MMDA Chairman Francis Tolentino to give Fabros a merit promotion due to his dedication to his job. George Cahiles, Solar News.